So man, if there was six words that I wanted you to remember, to keep into your mind and keep it to your heart and never forget and hold them close to you and never let them get away, it would be this, that the just shall live by faith. Or you can say righteous. If you don't want to say just, you want to say righteous, that's fine. The righteous shall live by faith. And what does that mean? It means simply this, that if you're going to be considered righteous before God, you got to be considered righteous through faith. You can't be considered righteous through laws, and you can't be considered righteous through running. You have to be considered righteous through faith. You put all of your faith in Jesus to be your Lord, to be your Messiah, to be your King, to be your God into the kingdom of heaven. When you do that, he says that he considers you just or he considers you righteous. You may remember that a while back, I ran into a guy who said he was trying to get back to his Hebraic roots, but the problem was he wasn't Hebrew. But he was trying to get back to his Hebraic roots. And he believed that if we were going to be in the covenant of Abraham, we had to be circumcised as males. He believed that we needed to keep the Sabbath. He believed that we needed to eat kosher foods and avoid pork. Right? So he had tallies all over. And this man, as he was talking, I thought to myself, man, I need to intervene here. But I thought, man, I'd much rather you be so sold out for Jesus that you do more for your master to please him than do less. Because he's talking and I'm thinking at least he's not running because I know some people that say they believe in Jesus, but they're, they're, not, they're not living for Jesus. There's no evidence that they live for Jesus. So I'm like, man, if you got to be on one side or the other side, you got the best side, man, because you're sold out and you're doing more for him. But I receive great advice, man. And people tell me you got to be careful because if you're trusting in the law, you're not trusting in Jesus and you're still missing the mark and you're not considered righteous. So you could do a thousand things a day to be righteous but you're not righteous. And if God doesn't consider you just, or if he doesn't consider you righteous, he's not letting you into the kingdom. So there's no way to be saved through the works that we do. We can't. So if I run from God, I lose. And if I work my butt off and trust in my works for God, I lose. The only way to be saved is by faith. There is no other way to be faith, saved aside from faith. As a matter of fact, it says in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4, Behold, his soul is puffed up, it is not upright within him, but the righteous shall live by faith. I'm in chapter 3 of Romans, and I'm wanting to do a quick video on it before I did it. I said, I'm going to go back into chapter 1 and go back into chapter 2. I'm going to relay the groundwork, see if there's anything I missed before I figure out what Paul's talking about here in 3. And I'm reading it, and, and it's so clear, man. It's just, Paul, he, he's building his case, man. He's laying the groundwork for the case. That there's nothing you can do to get into the kingdom of God except have faith in Jesus. And yes, that faith in Jesus will change your heart and it will change your mind. So if you got faith in Jesus, you don't live like the old man. And you don't, you don't work like you're not getting there. Suddenly you've been changed. You've been turned into a new creation. There's no need for you to try to fulfill commandments to get to the kingdom because you're already dead set you're going. You know you're going, so I don't have to work there. I don't have to work to get there because I know I'm getting there. By His blood, by His grace, I'm saved. And because you know you're saved and you know you're a child of the King, you no longer live like the old man. So you've been changed and you're not working yourself to death and you're not running from God. You got faith in the Messiah. You got faith in Jesus. And that's the only way to be righteous. So if you put your faith in anything but Jesus, you're not getting there. You're not getting into the kingdom of heaven. It's only by Jesus. It's only by faith in Him. So how do you have faith? The Word of God says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God or hearing by the Word of Christ. So we read the Word of God. And that's where we get our faith from. So if you lack faith, you got to read the Word of God. If you read it, you'll receive faith. And if you have faith, you'll be counted righteous and you'll get to the kingdom. So how do I get to heaven? By the Word of God. There's no other way to get to heaven other than by the Word of God. Hey, check it out, man. In Romans chapter 1, verse 17. For in it, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith for faith. As it is written, the righteous shall live by faith, or the just shall live by faith. Here the emphasis is being put on the righteous person. That person must live by faith. Look at Galatians chapter 3, verse 11. Now it is evident that nobody is justified before God by the law, for the righteous shall live by faith. 
right here. The emphasis is being put on you got to live by faith. There's no other way to live than by faith. How do you receive faith? By the word of God. By reading the word of God, you receive faith. If you got faith in Jesus, he considers you righteous. That's your ticket to the kingdom of heaven. That's how you get there. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 38. But my righteous one shall live by faith. And if he sinks back, my soul has no pleasure in him. How do you sink back from faith? By getting out of the word of God. Man, God's made it so simple. You want to get to heaven? You want to get to the kingdom? You got to read the word of God. You got to study the word of God. You got to put it in your mind. You got to put it in your heart. And you got to remember that the just shall live by faith. The righteous shall live by faith. And how do you receive it? You receive it from, receive it from word, reading the word of God. Man, we can't work ourselves into heaven. It's impossible. The moment we try to do it, we take our eyes off of Jesus and we put it on work. We can't run from God and expect to get to heaven. It doesn't work. Really, man, striving to get to the kingdom by obeying regulations and rules, man, that's running from God because you're running from the faith and you're running to yourself, man. Both sides are about you and faith. It's about Jesus. It doesn't make sense because it's about Jesus. It's not about you. Let me explain it like this, man. I read this earlier today. I thought it was so neat. The word of God. Look, it says that the law was given to Moses in 613 precepts. Right? Here's 613 precepts that you got to follow if you want to be righteous. But check it out. David, he reduced these down to 11 in Psalms chapter 15. But Isaiah, he brought them down to only six. And then Micah, man, he limited them to just three. And in another part of Isaiah, he reduced them to just two. But Habakkuk and Paul, they summarized God's entire plan with one word, faith. You want to get to heaven, you got to have faith. You lack faith, find it in the word of God, man. I'm going to get to Romans chapter 3. I don't want to rush through it. But right now, what I want to do is I want to make sure that the groundwork has been laid. By faith in God, man, there's no other way. For the just shall live by faith. The righteous shall live by faith. Driving yourself crazy, wondering if you get into the kingdom. Do you got faith? If you do, the word of God says you're righteous. The word of God says you're just. You lack faith? Faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Or hearing by the word of Christ. Get into the word of God, man. Read your Bible. Go to church, man. That's the only way to do it. There's no other way to get to the kingdom but by faith.